So today I'm going to show you how to make this cute ice cream sundae necklace. So to get started you would need gold clay for the ice cream cone. I'm going to use chocolate for the ice cream. I'm going to use a light pink beige for a vanilla sauce on the ice cream. Red for the cherry on top. A dark green for the stem. And a few colors for the sprinkles. So I'm going to use purple, apple green, and hot pink. To start off, I'm going to use gold clay to make this part of the necklace. This is the ice cream cone, right? So what I'm going to do is try to flatten it into a thin sheet of clay. It's very thin. So I'm going to take a rolling stick. Okay, so I flattened it into a thin sheet of clay, right like that. And I'm going to take like something textured to make little ridges all around the clay. So what I have is I have this. It's just lying around. I don't know what it's called. It's, it's for knitting or something. And then I'm going to use the little pattern to indent on the clay. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to roll it over it. Like that. So after that you get something like this. And I'm, right now I'm going to take trying to cut out a shape of a, of a cone. So what I'm going to use is actually a heart shaped cookie cutter. Right? And I'm just going to cut like that as you can see. Right? I'm just going to press down. Take out everything on the side. Right? And then I have my little cone. Or you can cut it with a razor blade or something. Just in a straight line like that. And then I'm just going to make it the cone more smaller. I'm just going to cut off a bit more. Like that. And then you got the next part is making the ice cream. So, right here, that's the ice cream. So I'm going to use chocolate color. And all it is, all it is, is a circle, a half circle, with little designs on the bottom. So again, I'm going to flatten this as the same thickness as the cone. Okay, so I got the clay flattened, right? And next step I'm going to do is just cutting a circle so I can use a circle cutter, any circle cutter. So this one fits, so I'm going to use this. And I'm just going to take a clean edge, and I'm just going to cut. You're going to use only half of the circle, and a little bit more. Right? So there it is. Clean that up. So. Leave it like that, right? And the next step is making the sauce. So I'm going to use a beige color, and again, I'm going to flatten it all over the same thickness. Take the same cookie cutter, right? And actually cut here because I already, I somehow it just came like that. I'm just going to use that as a decoration. So I'm going to use halfway. I could always make it smaller. Okay, so here we have the three main pieces, right? So to glue them together, I'm going to use TLS, tip it like that. And then I'm just going to put on a thin line over here. Like that. And when it bakes, it'll be like glue. Press that down like this. Right? And then I'm gonna, I don't need TLS for this because it's very sticky already. And then I'm gonna put this sauce over here. And I'm just gonna 
scrape that up. Gentle. Just like that. And there. Oops. You're going to have this is the symbol like that. Mm hmm. Right? And then next, take red. I'm going to make a cherry. The symbol is the cherry is very simple. I'm going to use a circle. Just make a little small circle. And then press that circle down. Simple like that. That's my cherry. Right there. And then I'm going to use green for the stem. So I'm going to press that down. I'm going to use TLS. Put that right in the middle. Okay, so here we have three colors for my sprinkles. Now sprinkles are very easy. I just rolled it into a very thin log. I'm just going to cut small pieces like that. Make sure that when you pick a chain, it fits. So if you do this chain, you can always try to see if it fits. I'm going to bake this, because since it's so thin, you're going to bake it for about 5 to 10 minutes in a 200 degree toaster oven or oven. Okay, so I just finished baking it, and then I glossed it. That took about at least a 2 hours to let it dry completely. So next, you want to make sure the ho there's a hole in there. Oops. So I'm just going to re-poke it, just curve it out, smooth it, like that. So there's a hole right there. So you're going to pick a chain that you want. So right now I'm going to use this silver chain. So to make the loop, I'm going to take any wire. I'm going to just use this uh, regular head pin, right? And I'm just going to loop it in like that. And then bend it like this. And then I'm going to cut it off. And then secure it. Just twisting it. Like that. So I'm just going to be like this. And then... Okay, so here's the finished product. I just did a little twistering of wires just to attach this. And then I'm going to insert the chain through the loop. And here is your Sunday necklace. Here we go. Made out of polymer clay. <laughs>